uh, Jet Setter. It's a 14 foot stand up paddleboard, inflatable, and got it, of course, on Amazon. People that know me would not be surprised. And the thing is, normally it retailed for, I want to say about $1,000, $1,100, and I got a killer deal on it, paid $600. So 40% off, you don't say no to that. And yeah, it comes with the board. You get a, get a nice little paddle here and a pump, of course, because being inflatable, you need to pump it up. And yeah, so with the board here, um, like I've said, it's inflatable, but in all honesty, you wouldn't really notice the difference. Uh, when I was down south, we paddled, I paddled on like a fiber, traditional fiberglass board, and it was pretty sturdy. Of course, and this thing here is no exception. Once you blow it up to the uh, required weight, it's hard as a rock. You wouldn't even know the difference that you are floating on air as opposed to uh, fiberglass. And it's basically made of the same material that they make um, those like zodiac boats out of. So its durability's got to be up there. I mean, I don't want to find out when I'm in the middle of the harbor and I've sprung a leak because I've hit something. We're just gonna hope that doesn't happen. But I think I have. I, I got a good piece of confidence in this board. Now, with that, um, you can definitely probably get a second person on here. Uh, if you're doing all the work and someone just wants to cruise, that's an option. Or in all honesty, I think you could even put a bit more, put another cargo net at the back there and carry some more gear if need be. So if you're doing something for long range paddling, this might be the way to go. Again, I haven't tried it out, so I can't be the judge, jury, and executioner on it. This is the part here, that's just where the plug in for the hose goes to blow up the board plug that bad boy in there and then just start going at her with the hand pump included now the hand pump was included with the the board and it takes about 15 minutes to, or so or at least that's what it took me when i blew up the board this morning to get it to its proper pressure that is a bit of time and i do understand that there are some electric pumps on amazon as well from the same company so they run about 60 to 100 bucks. So if you want to get on the water super quick, that's definitely the way to go. And of course, just back here is where your leash, it attaches to the board. And as you can see here, this is just the fin box. It comes with an included fin. Just pop it in like so, slide it in, push the tab down, good to go. Of course, take it out, same process. Just pull the tab, pull the fin, slide it out. So overall, first impressions of the board, they're pretty darn good. High build quality, accessories that came with are pretty good, albeit the board, the uh, pump to actually blow up the board could be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it's easy to set up, easy to take down, easy to store, which is a big plus. And yeah, I really can't wait to take this thing out for a rip because of course I haven't given it a go just yet. So hopefully, I'd say hopefully next weekend, maybe the weekend after. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see when all the good stuff, like the wetsuit comes in. So yeah, I think that's it for us today. I hope that this inaugural vlog was at least somewhat entertaining and somewhat coherent. And if you got any good feedback, leave it in the comments below. And of course, to quote my good friend Cam, don't forget to like and subscribe. So yeah, that's all I got, folks. Thanks for watching.